Hi everyone, this is Vicki with Tansy Naturals. I'm going to be making some patchouli soap today, hot process. And in my crock pot already, I have some coconut oil, some palm kernel oil flakes, mango seed butter, cocum butter, olive oil, and tallow. I found with working with hot process soap, it's a good idea to have at least 50% of your oils either hard or brittle oils. It just kind of helps with the consistency. So anyway, okay, so I've got my oils all melted and ready to go. I have my lye ready. I cool my lye down to under 100, usually between 78 and 85 degrees. That helps it uh, so that it doesn't volcano on you. I had that happen once. That really sucked. Um, so anyway, let me get started here. Alright, so in goes my lye. And make sure that you're working with your safety equipment. You can't be safe enough. Gloves and eye protection. I made the mistake once of thinking I could do it without and oh man, almost got it in my eye as a splashback. So just guys, please be careful. to get all the bubbles out. We're almost at trace. You can see some lines going through. I like mine just a little bit thicker. Alright, I think it's about there. That looks pretty good. So it's about the uh, consistency of a real thick vanilla pudding. So now I'm going to scrape the sides. This is the only time that I will uh, scrape it or move it down until it's ready to be actually mixed. Um, and I will come back when that is done. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, we're back again. It's been 30 minutes and this is what the soap is beginning to look like. If you can tell, it's beginning to fold up in on itself, so it is ready to be mixed. So I use a hand mixer because I feel like it makes the consistency much better. Um, and as you can see around the edges, it's beginning to gel, which is saying that it's about ready to be done. So here I go. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely in the mashed potato stage. Um, and from this point forward, I'm not going to pull from the sides. I'm not going to scrape it down because I don't want those chunks in the middle of my soap. So um, we're going to let it sit for a little longer. And when we come back, it'll probably be more of a Vaseline or jelly looking. So I will see you then. Okay, so I'm back again. It's been about 20 minutes, and as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit translucent, more like Vaseline than mashed potatoes. So we're almost there. I'm going to mix it one more time. And make sure to clean off your beaters in between so that you don't get those real dry chunks. And try not to pull from the sides. You want to just get just um, up to the side, but not the sides. Okay, 
So now I'm going to test the pH just to see if we are neutral or if we still need to cook longer. Okay, so to test the pH of it, I am going to take a small amount of the soap on a paper towel. Like that. And I have phenolphthalein, which is a pH indicator. And I'm just going to put a few drops. Let me put it over here. If it turns pink, you can see that. If it turns pink, then that means it still has to cook. But if you can see here, it is not pink. It didn't change color in any way. So this soap is done. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not adding color to this one because this one is patchouli and it's one of my signature series. So there's no color and the fragrance is coming from pure essential oil. I have to let this cool down to the flash point of 199, which that is what the flash point is for the essential oil itself. If you put it in too soon, it can burn off some of the notes and you'd have to add more. Um, it could also turn out to where your scent just doesn't stick. So I'm going to measure the temperature here. Okay, and as you can tell, my temperature is 147 to 157. So we're well below the, the flash point. So I'm going to add my essential oil. And I'm going to start with one ounce and um, we'll kind of go from there. You can always add more, but you cannot take it away. So that's it. Now what I'm going to do is put it into my mold and call it a day. Put the mold over the top here so you can see as it goes in. And again, I try not to scrape the sides. Um, I know it seems like a waste, but you really don't want those dry crumblies on the inside of your soap. I think that's what most people don't like about um, the hot process. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my crock pot. Okay, so I'm going to take it on the other side of the corner and I'm going to um, bang it down so that all the air bubbles come out and um, the soap is even throughout. So pardon me for just a second. All right, so now I'm going to add the rest here. Okay, so as you can see, the sides are still there. Um, one thing that you can do is uh, kind of brush down the sides and form it into like a little soap ball if you want to save it. Otherwise, uh, that's just part of the waste, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going to kind of texture the top a little bit just by um, smoothing it down so it's not so rough. It off all that's on my spoon here.
some people like the rough top, some people don't. And you can always, just depending on how you cut your soap, you can cut this off if you like it more smooth. Okay, pardon me while I go and tap it down a little bit more. All right, and this soap is really hot, so you gotta be careful, but I kind of take my hands and flatten out the top a little bit. around the edges just to make it unmold a little bit easier. So that's it. That's my patchouli soap. It is going to be cut tomorrow and it's ready to use. That's the beauty of hot process. Thanks for watching guys and thank you for bearing with me. This is my very first video so I hope it was informative. I hope that you learned a lot and um, look forward to putting up some other videos in the near future. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye. Okay, we're ready to cut our patchouli.